Good evening. Glad you're joining us here for WVLT News at 10. I'm Ted Hall. All right, the Glock switch. Tiny device makes a normal handgun as fast as a machine gun. And they are, yes, showing up across East Tennessee. Our Sam Luther spent the day and, and spoke with an ATF agent today. Sam, how are these things getting here? What kind of danger do they actually present to folks? You had two great questions. Folks have gotten creative in some instances, even hiding these things in toasters, an odd way to ship something, sure. But the result of them getting in the wrong hands here in East Tennessee could be bad news for anyone that gets caught in the crossfires. That's the sound of a normal handgun, but when you add a Glock switch, it does this. A small addition, a huge difference to a normal firearm that's illegal in the U.S. to own. Oh, we're seeing a bunch in Tennessee. At 1,200 rounds per minute, the concern is innocent people getting hurt, with more bullets getting fired. And it turns the Glock pistol from a semi-automatic pistol to a machine gun. Gives it the power of a machine gun. 525 of them confiscated in Memphis, concerning for ATF agents like Ashley Leitner, who say they come from Asia to California, ultimately making their way east. And when you put the part on to make it a machine gun, you're seeing a lot of people that have criminal intent that also have it. It just it provides more firepower. What about here in East Tennessee? They're here. Last July, Floyd Oderson was found with a Glock switch on his handgun. ATF says that's the only one confiscated so far in Knoxville. There's a lot more that have not been recovered. Now that ATF agent I spoke to says they're seeing those Glocks, which is sold online and through social media. That's where they're ultimately looking to stop those sales, Ted, before they even happen. As far as how many could be in East Tennessee right now, that ATF agent wouldn't even guess as to how many. That number just not really known at this time. That's kind of disturbing, isn't it? I mean, the fact that that technology is there is disturbing. Sam, thanks.